Hi, my name is Jennifer Patterson and I am with the Adair County OSU Extension Office and today I'm going to give just a brief demonstration on hoof trimming in your sheep and goat projects. Why hoof care? Oftentimes when we think of our overall health in our animals, we overlook the hooves and it's actually a very important part in managing our livestock projects. When we've had these wet and damp, soft conditions like we've had in this past year, um, it's really crucial to monitor that hoof growth. That hoof is going to, the hoof wall, is going to grow faster than the sole of the hoof and it's gonna curl underneath. And that is just an area where it's gonna collect dirt and debris and it's also gonna harbor uh, moisture and bacteria, which is gonna lead to hoof rot and infection and a lame animal. And so definitely don't want that in our show projects. And so that is why it is so crucial to monitor that. So there's a variety of brands um, that you can purchase of different hoof trimmers. Um, you can pick those up at your local farm and supply store. What I have out here is just your general sheep and goat hoof trimmers. The key is you want these to be sharp. And my other preferred tool is just my horse hoof pick. So sometimes that hoof wall separates from the side of the sole of the hoof, and this is real good to dig those pockets out, that debris out. All right, so we've got a goat on the stand here um, for demonstration purposes, and this little fella has some very overgrown toes. Um, you can see that that hoof wall has grown over the sole of his, of his hoof there. And so, so I can show you guys, I'm gonna use that hoof pick to dig that debris out and as you see it, it took out a rock there. It. And I'm going to use these clippers to clip off that excess hoof wall. One thing I did forget to mention earlier is if you have a pair of clippers with a serrated edge they do clip. They are use, easier to use, excuse me. <laughs> So I'm going to clip his hoof wall down to the sole and trim his toe. And sometimes um, you do have to take some off the heel as well. All right. So the goal is you want that sole to be smooth and even, okay? So make sure that you get the interior um, wall of the hoof and the edges. And he does have a little bit of a pocket starting to form where that hoof wall was starting to separate. So you do take off some of that so it can grow back normally. When you see pink, you've gone enough. Don't, don't clip anymore. So in his case, it's probably going to take a couple of trims to, to get him back to, to normal. Right. I've included this image to show what the end goal is. Ultimately, you want the toe and heel of the hoof to be the same depth. So here is the toe, here is the heel, and notice they are about the same at the front and back there. Like I said before, if they have severe overgrowth, it can take several trims to get them to this point. All right, guys, so that was just a quick demonstration on how to trim hooves. If you'd like to discuss a goat or sheep project further, um, I encourage you to call your local extension office. Thanks for tuning in today.